Hello YouTube, I'm Pilot Stud. First of all, I'd like to apologise for the audio quality and the video footage. I'm away from my current device, but there's plenty of Microsoft Flight Simulator news to report on, so I've had to improvise a bit and use some of my older equipment which I can access at the current moment. Hopefully my PC will be sorted in the next few videos, so it'll be back to normal soon. But nonetheless, we've got some awesome Microsoft Flight Simulator news to talk about. From a PMDG 737 preview shot, signalling its potentially imminent release, by imminent I mean before Christmas, as well as PMDG potentially working on a 757. There's plenty to talk about and more, so be sure you like, comment and subscribe, but now let's get right into it. Okay, so a fair place to start is with the PNDG 737 NG3, of course one of the most anticipated aircraft coming to the simulator. Now the team have gave us another teaser shot on their Facebook page, but it's been set as their banner. Now historically, PNDG set the aircraft, the photo on their banner as the aircraft they're going to be releasing within the next month. It's not confirmed, but it could be a very big hint that we'll be getting this by Christmas as expected. We've had plenty of shots already over the past few weeks. This, of course, is an external one. It looks beautiful and it's showing off the wing flex. What do you guys think? I know we're all eagerly awaiting it, so hopefully it won't be long. Sticking with PMDG, they may be working on a 757. My favourite bo my favourite Boeing airliner by quite some distance. Now this was hinted on a Twitch stream, you can go to the 14 minute 50 second mark to see it for yourself, where Robert Rondazzo says that he's got models on his desk which give him luck for aircraft they're working on and basically he pulls out quite quickly and quite it's quite small he pulls out a 757 model is it a good luck charm or is he just bluffing us i don't know but i've got to be honest if they bring a 757 over to microsoft flight simulator i'd be thoroughly impressed but in all fairness let's see how they handle the 737 first i'm sure it will be very good now we move on to another aircraft, this is an aircraft that's been released by Black Box Simulation, it's the Scottish Aviation Bulldog. This aircraft holds a special place in former RAF cadets hearts. The RAF cadets is a youth organisation in the United Kingdom for people who basically love aviation and want to get closer to the Royal Air Force, it's a youth organisation, much like scouts, that kind of thing, I'm an RAF cadet at the moment. Well, the Bulldog is now out, a very symbolic aircraft that was used all the way up until the 1990s for the RAF cadets. It first flew in 1969 by Beagle Aircraft from Shoreham Airport and it's now a Microsoft Flight Simulator. You can now relive those memories if you are an RAF cadet or even RAF pilot as of course you would have trained on there. It includes 10 real world and civil and military liveries and is a 100% handcrafted new build for Microsoft Flight Simulator, nothing converted over. A good sign from Black Box Simulations and you can get it for just under €25 Euros on their website. I'm certainly going to be taking a look at it rather soon, it's a beautiful one. Moving over to Aeroplane Heaven, they gave us a sneak peek of their P-51D Mustang for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, Aeroplane Heaven does make pretty good models, not the best, not the worst. Their Spitfire was a lot of fun, but their Electra 10A was a bit of a letdown from what I've heard. They've released a 7 minute video going through some of the features of the beautiful P-51 Mustang. It's on the screen now, it comes with 15 liveries and there'll be a few customization options in the well, such as being able to change the reticles on the gun sights. That's pretty cool I have to say. 
it does look very beautiful, but it is in direct competition with the P51 Mustang we've got for Mike, with the P51 model we've got for the sim already, with the Renault Air Racers expansion, where you get 10 different models of the P51, but of course, those are more racing planes made for the more kind of gamer, I guess, pilot, so they're not going to have the same system depth as this P51 would, or at least I hope. I had to keep it up, it does look pretty good at the moment. Final thing I want to flip back for all you Xbox owners, I don't put a lot of Xbox news out because it is few and far between, but with PMDG they're bringing over the DC-6 which is a vintage um, propeller airliner to Xbox. It will be going through the marketplace. I imagine it will be similar price and I imagine the uh, kind of complexity of it will remain the same. It will be identical as he says. Pretty exciting stuff if you're on Xbox but there we go. Thank you for watching this video guys. I know it has been worse quality than usual. For that I unreservedly apologise. I'll hope to sort it out over the next um, few days. Of course, I'll keep you updated. Thank you very much for watching. Last thing I want to say is thank you to my first class channel members. You guys really do help me out. It means so, so much. If you want to support the channel and become a channel member, to get an exclusive shout out of which I'm now about to do, click that blue join button. Thank you to Ethan Bubeck, Jonathan Desmond, Captain Matt Russell, Jesse Wiseman, Fanny Leibenberg, Hello and Owen K. You guys really do help me out. I've also got my merch store open, be sure to order as soon as you can to make sure you get your order for Christmas. We've had plenty of orders so far, stock of course is uh, certainly available for you guys. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you did enjoy, but from me today that is all, I'll see you around, goodbye.